Hello everyone, how are you? I uh, hope you're doing very well. My name is Diane and this is a pick a card for Wednesday the 27th of September. Yeah, got the date right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, it's a timeless reading. So pile number one is the sacral chakra crystal totally not what I meant to say. Uh, the orange citrine which is really good for the sacral chakra. Uh, pile number two is the blue appetite which is really good for your throat chakra. If you can get your hands on a bit of rough um, blue appetite that's even better or I found it worked better for me anyway and it's cheaper usually. The rougher crystals are cheaper too in case that's a, you know it's always good to not have to spend a ton of money, right? And um, pile number three is the amethyst, which is really good for your third eye and your crown chakra, you know, for communicating with spirit. And I have um, a sacral chakra frequency on in the background today. So if you're vibing with that, um, you know, that might help you listening to some sacral chakra music. <laughs> this guy out of the way and this guy okay pile one <clears throat> the orange citrine okay you guys got four of the akashic tarot i was only trying to pull three but you got four um so oh you have the bird's nest the three of wands this is but it has it actually has a different meaning in this deck pile number one um some of you are about to start a family and I know that's not going to be for everyone. Um, there might be more messages in this pile for you, I'm sure there are, but the bird's nest specifically in this deck talks about starting a family. Okay, so I mean that could be an actual, you know, sort of, you know, child, <laughs> tiny human based family or it could be about finding your soul tribe, uh, you know, if you're not vibing with that whole family thing. You have the Queen of Scrolls, which is the Queen of Swords in this deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Notice that my throat went as soon as I started talking about the Queen of Swords because she's all about communication. You have um, the Fated Meeting card. This is my favourite card in this whole deck. I just think it's beautiful. Which is, it's kind of like the lovers in the normal, quote unquote, normal tarot. Wow, and you have birth. Okay, so pile one. Um, some of you, you know, from the, the ladies listening, uh, you may have been doing work on your sacral chac chakra in preparation to have a child, okay? Because like the sacral chakra deals with like feminine energy, uh, you know, all the female organs, like y you may have been sort of learning to get into your feminine energy like receiving energy because there's a child coming, uh, like there's a family coming. If that's, you know, blowing up your skirt, um, <laughs> then this is uh, for you because I feel like you're going to meet someone. Let me just screw around with the camera. See the fated meeting? Like there's someone coming into your life here. I mean, you might know them, but they seem like a newer energy. And you're, this person's supposed to be in your life. Like it's fated that they were, you know, going to come in at this exact time. This has all been written in the stars before you guys got here, you know, like I think I said this yesterday because I think that card came out yesterday, but you guys might already be dreaming about each other or um, you're in each other's energy somehow in the 5D, but you've yet to meet in the 3D. But yeah, <laughs> um, like, I, you know, the sacral chakra stuff was kind of about, that was for the, the ladies, you know, but this obviously applies for men watching as well. Like there's someone that's going to come into your life that you're going to have a family with. Okay. Let's see what your other cards, that's really like a strong message coming through. So this person, this could be you, the queen of swords. So you could be, this could be you, or this could be the person that you're going to have the family with. So you could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, the Queen of Swords, you know, I'm going to talk about this person like they're you, okay? But maybe you've been through a lot. The Queen of Swords is like, you know, very wise, like lots of experience, good sense of humor, very smart, but they've been through a lot, right? 
Um, lots of knowledge though, very, very smart. Well, <laughs> okay. So you have the two of cups here. There's a soulmate coming in. Okay. For sure. So you can interpret this in a couple of ways. This is definitely about finding your, your family, right? So like I said, for a lot of you, that's gonna be an actual family that you're about to have with someone. For others of you, if that does not vibe with you, this is gonna be about meeting someone that feels like family. And that could be love if you're interested in that. It could be friends. It could be a particular friend because you have the two of cups here, which is like best friend, you know? This is like your bestie. Um, whether it's a romantic love or not, this is your bestie. I feel this person is going to be very smart too because one of the reasons, if you if you found this person late in life um, at pile two, it's because you were looking for the right person. It was You were literally waiting for this person. It's also something to do with your third eye here. Um, this person may not have been able to come in until like you had developed your psychic gifts a little bit. You see how her little third eye is lit up? Because um, that often happens, you know, I was saying this to someone quite recently. Um, I think it's come up with a few people actually, you know, it may not feel like things are going according to plan, but there's usually certain things, like if you're spiritual, you know, or if you have a mission, like a lot of people have a mission, you know, to kind of have their spiritual awakening and to wake up other people and maybe set up a business or this, the Queen of Swords to me is always like a channel as well. Like it's that type of air energy of being able to pick information out of like the Akashic records or the ether or whatever you want to call it and deliver it to people. So you may have recently, you know, stepped into some kind of channel position or that's what you're learning to develop right now or it's happened very quick, um, very recently. Maybe you're an author, you know, counselor, teacher, anything like this. You can look up occupations related to the Queen of Swords, okay? But it may be that you had to, in fact, it, it is, you know, if that message is for you, that this relationship or you're meeting your soul tribe has come later in life, or later than you thought, it's because you had to become this person first because you have some kind of knowledge. You may even be like a speaker or something. You see how she's got that scroll? It's like a town crier kind of thing, right? So that may be what you were learning to become, you know? And that could be like on a, a big platform or it could be like a smaller platform, you know, like owning your own business, something like this. And also, I see the butterfly here, which makes me think that some of you have recently, you know, you've been through your dark night of the soul, you've been through your spiritual awakening, now you're coming out of that as the butterfly, and it's time for this person to come into your life, okay? But you had to, there's something to do with your purpose, like it's, you know, it's going to be different for everyone, but it's something to do with being able to kind of easily access this information as a channel in some way, and then giving it to people, okay? Um, so there's a soulmate coming with the Two of Cups. You're either going to start a family with this person or they're going to be like your family or it's your soul tribe coming in, okay? And they're on your level, like they're just as um, switched on, like just as smart as you because the Queen of Swords is very smart. King or Queen, you know. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Pablin. You have the Tower and the Knight of Swords, so this is going to happen fast. Okay, uh, it might happen very suddenly. There's something to do with like a fated meeting here, you see? It's almost like they're bumping into each other. But obviously it's not an accident. You know, Spirit has already worked this out, like you guys signed up for this before you came here, but to, to us, you know, down here in 3D land, the um, not very entertaining amusement park <laughs> that we live in. Um, it's going to feel like a surprise. You'll be like, ah, damn, I was not expecting to meet you. Um, you know, the tower is something that happens very suddenly. And you may find that when you start to really give in to this spiritual side of yourself, like this channeling, 
or the speaking or whatever it is you're supposed to do, that's when they come in. Bam. <laughs> totally out of left field. But they always say that about uh, like love, right? It's like the, it comes in when you're not looking. That's actually, the, I, I have to say every time that some, like I've met someone that's been like, you know, an important relationship, that's how it's happened. Like I wasn't looking, you're like, ah. It's actually kind of an inconvenient time, but okay. <laughs> and you have the Knight of Swords. So you may find there's a birth here quite quickly. I just want to warn you about that. If that, you know, applies to you. I know there's going to be some people watching me like, uh, no more babies, thank you. Um, no, no thanks. But for those of you that would be open to that, there is possibly two souls that want to come into this union because we have two babies here. Okay boy and a girl, uh, one of them might come along fast, all right? But I feel this person's gonna come in very fast, the whole thing might move very quickly, because you, I feel like you're just gonna know, honestly, with this person, the sacral chakra is to do with feelings, so you're just gonna vibe, you're just gonna feel like this is the right person, you know? And I think there's gonna be something kinda serendipitous about the way that you meet, that you're like, that's odd, <laughs> like, that's not normal. Do you know what I mean? You know like, when Spirit sends you a sign and you're like, that's definitely a sign because that shit is not normal. Like, you know, I, I said this in one of my other videos on my other channel, but you know, I, I tend to get a lot of butterflies. Like sometimes they'll, they'll come into the house and you're like, this shit is not normal. Like what, <laughs> what's going on? Um, so it's gonna be some kind of serendipitous meeting like that when you're just gonna, have a strong feeling I think that this is the one so yeah that's your message pile one and like I said you know if you're not looking for love this could also be a friend um like your bestie your soul tribe coming in um a romantic relationship with no children if you're not down for the kids thing but honestly I don't see that's just what this is it's it's about some kind of soulmate coming in so, oh, that's nice, pile one. So that's your message, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light, take care. Okay, pile two. You guys with a blue appetite, let me just get a swig. My super healthy, um, drink which I'm not going to advertise for them <laughs> even if they paid me I would not advertise for them um so I'm <clears throat> noticing that my throat has already gone so this could be a pile for people that have been dealing with a blocked throat chakra okay so <clears throat> you have number 11 the Ark of the Covenant so this card talks about being on the right path this talks about some kind of divine purpose that you have like the number 11 talks about, um, yeah, being in the place that you're supposed to be doing the job that you're meant to be doing. So you're on the right track, pile number two, okay? <clears throat> oh my God. <coughs> this happened yesterday <clears throat> with the throat thing. <clears throat> okay, you have the Ace of uh, Forces, the the Ace of Wands, the Akashic Field. I think that card came out with that crystal yesterday, right? Am I wrong? And you have number 10, um, the Light of the World. Okay, this may be a pile, again, if you watched this yesterday, there's just like a repeating message for you here, just to, just to drive that home in case you weren't feeling nagged enough. Um, you have a, like, a, a strong connection to the Akashic field, okay? It, it's to do with communication, with that blue crystal. You know, communicating, you're a channel. This keeps coming through. I feel there's lots of people watching these pick -a cards that are just like, spirits like, come on, <laughs> you're a channel, it's time. And I don't know what that means for you exactly, because channel can be many different things. It could be being a medium, it could be uh, channeling other beings, it could be tapping into the Akashic records for information, all that kind of stuff. But 
you're easily able to tap into information that's contained in <coughs> excuse me, um, the Akashic field, the Akashic records, whatever you want to call it. It's your mission here. Like if you're, maybe this is because maybe you're doubting it because you have a blocked throat chakra or you've been working on a blocked throat chakra. Okay. I've done a lot of work on my throat chakra and I still have to work on it. You know, it, I imagine that it may be something that is there for me forever. Like, you know, at certain times, like if I'm super tired or I get very stressed out or something, um, I'll find that I can't talk <laughs> sometimes and I'm not even really able to make videos. That's, that's, <clears throat> cause that's like an old wound opening up, you know, but I still work on my throat chakra all the time to make sure that it's clear, you know, and that I'm speaking up, speaking my mind and stuff. But there's something here to do with like, yeah. You're supposed to develop this gift because you have this um, light of the world here. So I feel you have a very strong gift, like a very strong psychic gift where you're able to channel things. But see this, this boy here, if you can see him, he's supposed to be busy, right? He's like in his 3D world, like he's trying to get dinner. He's just back from his work and the cat's going, feed me, feed me, dick, feed me. And Spirit's knocking at the door being like, okay, it's time 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 to fulfill your purpose time to do what you came here to do right time to meditate more and like work on this you know so you may be feeling at the moment that you have a lot of stuff going on big stuff going on um but spirit saying it's time to make space for this to come through properly because you've only even if you're already channeling spirit wants you to know that that's only half of what you can do <laughs> Okay, I would say you're meant to be a very bright light in this world. You're a very successful channel and it is your destiny with the, with the Ark of the Covenant to do this. So I think you're on the right path or you're getting there, but um, yeah, knock, knock, here comes spirit. <laughs> okay. So let's see what else you've got. The Page of Swords, <laughs> okay. You know, it was interesting, Pile 2, when I was shuffling to get your tarot, it took ages for them to come out. I had to shuffle for ages. So the Page of Swords, is it talks about a delay. Something happening very suddenly after a delay. I think maybe this is a little bit of a warning that you are strongly about to tap in to your channeling gifts and it might all start unlocking very suddenly. Don't be scared, okay? You're meant to do this. I think you've done it, you know, before. If you've had past lives on this planet, you've done it before. You're gonna be some kind of like, teacher or, you know, like a wise woman or like a wise man or, you know, someone that people come to for advice when they're seeking advice or information or something. Yeah, because there's there's been a delay. I feel like you've delayed, not, not you, but there's been a delay because you didn't want to do it. Because of this block in your throat chakra, you felt, you know, people are going to judge me. I'm not good enough to do it. This type of thing. And also, you know, if you have a blocked throat chakra, sometimes it just doesn't come through. Because the, the throat chakra is like the link between the upper chakras and your mouth, right? Like if your throat chakra is blocked, the stuff, that, the messages that you're getting from spirit are just not going to come through They're just because you're, you're not speaking them into existence. So I feel this is something that is, has been delayed, that's now going to come through very quick. Yeah, you have the devil. Um, I, I feel you've just been blocking it because you, you didn't want to do it or you didn't feel good enough or you were questioning yourself or you could also have been worrying about money, you know, cause that the devil has a bag of money there. So maybe you were focusing on financial stuff. I think spirit forgets sometimes, but, um, how, you know, they, they, they forget, <laughs> um, about food and clothing and things. Yeah. I feel, 
Also, maybe some of you are a little scared of this gift because you're very connected is the thing. You're very connected and I don't know, maybe some of you are from like a Christian background or a Catholic background or a highly religious background, like I was. Um, we were raised Catholic and there is always that undertone of like, oh my God, it's the devil, it's demonic. You know, so maybe like, you know, it used to come through when you were a kid and you're like, oh my God, it's Satan. But I feel that you're working through that. There's only for some of you. A lot of it though, I think is just, you just didn't want to do it for some reason. Or you were scared of it, or it made you nervous. Or you weren't confident enough that something like that. <laughs> oh my God, look, the Hermit and the Hierophant. Okay. So you might, um, just while I remember, because I might forget, you see here, there's a little dude here knocking at the door. There might be a teacher that's about to come into your life. Only take that if it resonates, but maybe you just haven't met this person yet. You see here, <laughs> I was trying to point at the camera. I was like, they can't, they can't see that. Come on, brain. So you have this guy here, who's like spirit, knocking at the door, and then you have the Hierophant, which is a spiritual teacher. So you might be about to meet a spiritual teacher. And remember, that doesn't have to be in person. Like you might start watching a channel on YouTube or something, you know, where you, you learn a lot of, um, information and that person is sent by spirit even if because you know space and time is an illusion right like if someone's in your life you know coming through the computer they're meant to be in your life even if they're just on youtube right doesn't really make them less real as it were they're still teaching you they're still there delivering the information so you it may even be something like that or an online course that you're going to do or you know you might meet this you know they could be in person, uh, something like that, but there's some kind of very spiritual person. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. A uh, very spiritual person who um, they're a teacher, some kind of spiritual teacher. I feel like other people might listen to this person, you know, with the Hierophant is often that type of energy. They have something that other people listen to. They, you know, um, other people are, have respect for what they say. You have maybe been in hermit mode. Ah, because this boy's in his house, right? And you have the hermit. So you may have been in your dark night of the soul, spending a lot of time in your house, you know, not talking to people, <laughs> not, not chilling with people. And I think there's like a knock at the door that's coming. So that, that's going to be partly in the form of the spiritual teacher who's going to rock up into your world and rock your world, baby, <laughs> um, in terms of spiritual knowledge, uh, but also like making friends and getting out to play. I think spirit is saying like it's time for you to start, you know, engaging with humanity because that's what you came here to do. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to say like your spiritual hermit phase is nearly over because you've got the knowledge that you needed now. To, to do this, all right? So yeah, uh, I'm sorry if that was a bit naggy, but remember it doesn't come from me, it comes from spirit, okay? <laughs> uh, so I hope that was useful, pile two. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light, take care. And pile number three, you guys were the amethyst. Okay. So you have Archangel Raphael. So there's something to do with healing for this pile. Oh, you're a healer. You have the Queen of Roses, which is the Queen of Cups. Okay. Those of you that chose this pile, you are very sorry, my camera cut out. You are very psychic. You are very spiritually gifted. You have a very soft, compassionate, soothing, calming energy. Um, yeah, you have a very healing energy. Very healing. Oh, that's so interesting. You have the six of um, roses, the six of cups. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to focus. And you have the two of scrolls, the two worlds. So this is really interesting because 
this card here the two of scrolls which is the two of swords but it has a different meaning in this deck it talks about um the ability to bring two worlds together and then the six of roses talks about like a stalemate between two people but i don't feel like that's specifically what this is about it's more about something to do with you figuring out how to bring worlds together like figuring out you know what some of you are like um very diplomatic very diplomatic very healing You know, you have such a healing energy. This is a bit, I think this is not the main message, but whoever this pile is for, you have such a healing energy. And remember, you can be a guy as well. It's almost like there's no boundaries with you and other people. Like, it doesn't matter who they are. You know, they can be very, very different from you, like from a very different background. Maybe someone that wouldn't usually be into healing and spirituality. But you're able to bring people in close to you for some reason because of this healing energy that you have. It's like you just attract people from everywhere, you know? Let's see what else you got. The Ten of Cups. You have a very healing energy. Also... Sorry if this cuts a bit close to the bone, but any of you who have got like, um, you know, family trauma that needed healing, like maybe you have a little bit of commitment issues or abandonment issues or something like this, that's going to be healed for you. Because I think you've been working on that yourself. All right. Archangel, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Archangel Raphael has been working with you to heal family wounds so that you can have a family of your own for some of you or get married. Because there was, I think, something with some of you that you have a blocked throat chakra due to your family, okay? You have the two of pentacles in reverse. You have the eight of pentacles and you have the fool. Okay, some of you are going to open a healing business with the Eight of Pentacles. There's something that, well, yeah, I think you will open a business, but there's something that you're very, very good at. Like the Eight of Pentacles talks about a particular skill. Uh, you're like a wise per person, like a wise woman, a wise man. Um, some of you could even be like mad into herbology. Is that a real word or did I just lift that from Harry Potter? <laughs> Herbalism, right? That's her herbology is Harry Potter. God oh my see Diane. Um herbalism. You could be into like mixing herbs and like creating, you know, elixirs and things like that. Okay. Um but there's there's some particular skill that you're very good at in terms of spirituality or healing people. It's almost like you're able some of you are like fortune tellers. You're going to find that you're very good at scrying. But you're, you're very able to just see things, like see what the problem is, like so you can help people heal. Like that could be in terms of their psyche or their physical body. Because I met this person once who was able to kind of use, um, like they were just able to see what was wrong with your body, basically. Like they were just able to sit you down. They hadn't had any formal training in any way. Um, they were amazing. Like they, they hadn't been trained in Reiki or anything. They just seemed to have come from a line of healers. It was amazing. So it's, it's something like that where you're very able to just see what the problem is for people and fix it. And I think a lot of you are going to make a business out of it, okay? And I, th I think there's something here about, like those of you who have been struggling to bring your spiritual life together with your money, you're going to figure out how to do that, okay? 
like you know maybe you've been like i want to develop my spiritual gifts or i want to set up this spiritual business but i don't know how to make money like you know you've been trying to be spiritual but also hold down a full-time job i feel like the two things are going to merge somehow into some kind of new beginning for you because this card the two scrolls it talks about like um you can see there's a big pile of money on the table so like in a past life you may have been a monk or something so you may have some kind of attachment to money being like Ew, like I don't need that I don't want material stuff like ew it's bad ew so you, you're maybe getting past that block for example and you're understanding that there's there's no shame like in making money from a spiritual business you know you have to eat right you have to live it's pretty hard to heal people when you're like living in a box right <laughs> Let, let's be honest so I feel like for some of you that's what's going to happen here sorry about all the banging i've got a window open so it sounds like the house is about to collapse <laughs> there's something here with this balancing of energies i am going to pull a card on that <clears throat> what is this to Hmm. The Emperor. I do not know what that means. Give that to me again. What is the Six of Roses, please, and this Two of Pentacles? So there's been, I don't know, with with some of you anyway, Pile 3, there's been some kind of worrying about money or making ends meet or, yeah, I feel, that, I feel like if you've been worried about money, that's coming to an end. Like there's something to do with you figuring out how to balance the business, like balance the books. It's almost like some of you are going to merge with someone else in some way like start a business with someone or you're gonna merge two businesses that you have there's something here about i feel it's maybe you though it's like figuring out how to merge things so that you can have balance i think that's what it is some of you might move in with someone as well because i see two houses here okay Sorry, I was thinking of that line from Romeo and Juliet. Is it? Was it? Um, a, a scourge on both your houses. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that came through. I'm sure there will not be a scourge on your house. I don't even know if that's a quote. But yeah, I feel like this is like learning to bring like balance into your life in some way. So if you've been struggling to make ends meet, or if you've been working two jobs, or like even kind of living two lives, you know, it's like you've been doing the full time thing you know with your you know quote unquote real job and then trying to be a spiritual person too you're just going to end up like merging the two things and it's going to be a lot easier for you because there's a wish fulfillment coming in the nine of cups here okay uh so that is your message pile uh number three i hope it was useful thank you so much for watching and as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care